Good afternoon, meteorologist Stephen Dare here, hanging in the back of the Weather Center. There is a lot to talk about in the Atlantic Ocean. The tropics starting to wake up a little bit. The Atlantic Ocean starting to wake up a little bit. Hurricane Fiona, the major hurricane we've been talking about over the past couple of days, is now exiting the Caribbean after pummeling Turks and Caicos, following pummeling Puerto Rico. Tropical Depression 8 in the far northern uh, Atlantic has developed late this morning. Poses no big threat to land. But let's just go through it one System at a time. Hurricane Fiona, the major hurricane, still bringing the rains and uh, wind to Turks and Caicos, but will be exiting the region uh, shortly through the rest of the day today into tomorrow morning. Uh, potentially could become a Category 4, so this thing really, really intensifying over the next uh, 24 hours or so. And then by Thursday afternoon and evening, it is approaching Bermuda. It's going to be a close call. The system likely going to be on the west side of Bermuda, which means Bermuda is on the right side of the system where all the rains will likely be. So again, they'll watch that forecast, forecast closely here as the system then heads its way up towards uh, Newfoundland there uh, by the weekend. It's maybe a Category 2. So this thing is staying strong up and down the Atlantic. It will bring up the surf in the seas uh, all across uh, the western Atlantic. For us locally, we have nothing to worry about, which is good for Hurricane uh, Fiona. However, boaters beware of the elevated seas and surf. And then surfers, you'll enjoy some offshore winds on Thursday uh, as the waves uh, um, kind of light up the coastline here uh, by Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. Now let's get to Tropical Depression 8, which is likely to become the next tropical storm in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, but it's just going to meander in the far northern Atlantic. This is going to be more of a nuisance and issue for maritime traffic and uh, ships and boaters uh, than really any big land impacts. So that'll remain up towards the uh, northern Atlantic. It'll become Gaston, or is forecasted to become Gaston, which is next on the list. And then there is actually one more uh, area we are watching, which could potentially and likely uh, potentially becoming another tropical cyclone in the next few days here down in the far southern Atlantic, headed into the Caribbean here. This has a good chance at developing into a tropical cyclone once it kind of gets past the Lesser Antilles Islands. And if it were to develop into said tro tropical cyclone, we're looking at Hermine. And there's some big question marks about where this thing goes or what will entail of it, its strength, uh, its intensity, a lot of question marks here. By the weekend, we'll have a much better idea because by the weekend, it'll be developed into something. Right now, the, the eggplant parmesan isn't even in the oven yet, and we're asking the chef if it tastes good. We gotta get this thing in the oven, we gotta get it to develop, we gotta get it to cook. Uh, so by the weekend, uh, we'll have a better idea of where this thing will then go. If it pulls uh, more on a northerly track, staying in the Atlantic, more of a northeast, northwesterly track there, kind of trekking towards Florida or headed into the Gulf. Lots of question marks, long story short, we're watching it. With the high uncertainty, nothing for us to be worried about as of now because we're still talking about 7 to 10 to even 12 days out in, into the future. So way out on the horizon, we'll keep, keep eyeing up the forecast and just keep checking back here for more updates. Us locally, I mean, it's beautiful over the next few days, just warm. It'll be pretty warm on Thursday for the majority of the afternoon. By the evening, that late week cold front drops in that we've been talking about for the past few days. Bring some scattered showers to the region, nothing too, too dramatic. But what will be dramatic, or at least more notable is the big temperature drop into the weekend. A nice little fresh breeze sets up some cooler sunshine into Friday and Saturday. We'll have more on all the tropical information, plus our local forecast coming up later on Wave News 10 at 4 o'clock. And then for the rest of the afternoon and the evening, we'll see you there.